Hello everyone, so what we are going to discuss today is about uh, IG system and uh, its safeties basically and uh, alarms and trips, different alarms and trips. So all these alarms and trips will uh, uh, will come in uh, safety only. And I have already covered a video on PV valve and PV breaker that is also a safety. Uh, the difference between both and at what pressure does it opens and how it is functional you can watch that video if you have not watched and uh, so in that video I'll not be covering here about PV breaker and PV valve but here definitely we'll look at mast riser so first of all let's go and look at the requirement of IG system so here the diagram that you see is a boiler uptake is the IG system that we are using the uh, exhaust gases for generating the IG, uh, IG, you have deck isolation valve, we have fresh air inlets, scrubber tower, boiler uptake, boiler uptake valve, PV breaker, okay, pressure regulating valve, external supply, cargo tank and hold where we are supplying, we have the deck seals, we have auxiliary blowers, main steam, so all these components are there. We also have another system that is known as inert gas generator. Now, when we talk about the requirement, solace requirement, earlier it was 20,000 uh, dead weight, then it came 10,000, but now it is 8,000 dead weight to have this uh, IG system on for all the oil tankers. Okay, so in chapter 2, you will find this. It is compulsory. Now, they are installed to avoid any high risk of explosion. So, we cannot have any high risk of explosion fire during the cargo operation when we talk about alarms and trips installed on IG system so safety and uh, provided with various safety features to safeguard the tank and its own machineries following our various we are going to discuss we have first pressure gauge installed on water supply line to the scrubber tower okay there is a pressure gauge this will independently come in safety altogether. Low pressure seawater supply approximately 0.7 bar to scrubber tower leads to alarm and shutdown of blower. Low pressure seawater supply approximately 1.5 bar to deck seal leads to alarm and shutdown of blower. High inert gas temperature approximately 70 degrees centigrade leads to alarm and shutdown of blower. Low pressure in line after blower approximately 250 mm leads to alarm and shutdown of blower oxygen content high 8% leads to alarm and shutdown of gas delivery to deck so you can categorize here which are alarms and shutdown almost everywhere we have shutdown and alarm as well oxygen content high that is 8% then leads to low level in deck seal level to alarm and shutdown of gas delivery to deck power failure leads to alarm and shutdown of blower and scrubber tower Emergency stop leads to alarm and shutdown of blower and scrubber tower. Now, in a nutshell, if we see what are alarms, scrubber high level, scrubber low level, deck seal high level, deck seal low level, low O2 content, what is 1%, high O2 content, that is 5%, high blower casing temperature, then we have low lube oil pressure alarm. Trips when we talk about, or the shutdown when we talk about, it is high casing temperature, uh, temperature trip low lube oil pressure trip, low no flow scrubber water, low no flow deck seal water, high boiler pressure trip, low boiler pressure trip. So these are different different shutdowns and safeties in boiler. But uh, there are different others as well like mast riser, uh, PV valve and PV breaker. You can also count in this uh, in safety when we talk about not in alarm and shutdown. Uh, so what are mast riser because I have not covered in that previous video of PV valve and PV breaker so you can watch here about the uh, mast riser so uh, when we have during cargo loading a mast riser provides exit point exit point for the excess IZ hydrocarbons papers to escape avoiding pressurizing the cargo tanks so it uh, provides for hydrocarbon to escape uh, to avoid the over pressurizing of cargo tanks. Thank you so much.